So I guess this week we are talking about the book The Thief Lord. Um I haven't read it before entirely but I've read parts of it because uh, when I was like in primary school it was published um, in parts in this magazine for children so I've heard of it before. I thought it was really cute and I liked the that it was set in Venice, but it is a children's book and it's quite noticeable. For one, it was very plot driven, which I'm not that fond of, and there was little to no character development. I mean, for example, um, I think she could have built more on CPU's motivation for becoming an adult. And as Nina said, I, I did like the fantasy part. I think it was. Um, a nice addition to the plot. I sort of expected it since the mm, merry-go-round was mentioned. I think maybe I read it differently than I would have if I didn't have to make a video because I knew that I was going to have to talk about it and it kind of changed things, I think. Um, you know, the law of observation or what it's called. Also, I had no idea there was a movie and I might watch it. I'm not sure. And I say ask about our favorite artist and that's really hard to answer because even if we only look at uh, visual art um, there's way too many to choose. I really like Joseph uh, Turner, the English painter and for example, um, Vivian Meyer, she's, she was a photographer, mm, and maybe, I don't know, there's a lot of them, I have a list. I always have this feeling that I can choose yet if I don't know everything, which is ridiculous, but here we are. Which scene did you like the most in the Thief Lord? I think mine was probably the one where the kids break into Ida's house and uh, she finds them. I, I like that one. I'm shooting this on Thursday because tomorrow I'm leaving for Germany. And I will try to schedule this video to um, appear on Friday. I hope this will work. Goodbye and best wishes.